A few videos ago, I talked about scientists describing a new species of sauropod from Argentina that they named Cydrosaura. This new sauropod species was originally discovered in 2012, where they found the remains of four individuals along a muddy riverbank, and they didn't describe it until very recently. But alongside these four individual sauropod fossils that they found, they also discovered a new giant species of theropod, which they named after a Game of Thrones character. Welcome back to Paleopedia, and this new species of giant theropod from South America has been given the name of Miraxes gigas. As I said a second ago, Miraxes was originally discovered back in 2012 alongside the four individuals of Cydersora, but it wasn't officially described until 2022. This new species of Carcharodontosaurid is one of the largest theropods that we now know of, with estimated lengths anywhere between 30 and 40 feet in length. The skull of Miraxes alone is 4.2 feet in length, putting this dinosaur at roughly the same body proportions as its close relative, Acrocanthosaurus. The holotype of Miraxes also represents one of the most well-preserved fossilized Carcharodontosaurs that we have, meaning that we can get a lot more information from it than other species of the family. Something really cool about this specimen is, based on osteohistological analysis, this animal died between 39 and 53 years in age, making it one of the oldest known theropods in the fossil record. It's believed that it reached sexual maturity about four years prior to its death, indicating that this group of dinosaurs evolved its larger size over a longer growth period rather than a short accelerated growth period like the Tyrannosaurs did. When it was initially described in 2022, it was described as the earliest diverging member of the Giganotosaurini tribe of the family Carcharodontosauridae, meaning that it was a likely direct ancestor to later Giganotosaurs like Giganotosaurus and Mapusaurus. However, in 2024, a study suggested that Miraxes is not part of the Giganotosaurini tribe Tribe, but it is a very, very close relative to that tribe. Either way, we know that it is a Carcharodontosaur, which means that it was likely one of the top predators of the South American environment. And while later members of the Giganotosaurini tribe were larger, like Mapasaurus is currently the largest of that tribe, Miraxes was still a formidable predator, likely preying on a wide variety of dinosaurs in its environment. And while, as usual, a lot more fossils are going to need to be discovered of Miraxes for us to better understand how big it could have gotten and what its general lifestyle likely was like, this discovery is still really cool as it adds another piece to the puzzle of Giganotosaur evolution in South America. 